Welcome back to another episode of Attack on Titan. We are watching episode 11 today. Today is not any ordinary day. It's turkey day! Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there who is celebrating it today. Hopefully you guys are eating tons of food as you're watching this video. So to get you caught up to speed, Aaron is Titan. He woke up and everybody was pointing guns at him to kill him for treason. But lucky for Aaron and Mikasa, Armin actually found his confidence in the last episode. He stood up boldly in front of all the other soldiers, claiming that his friend Aaron was not actually against them, but there to help protect them. Pixis arrived just in time to hear this and he actually stopped the attack on Aaron, Mikasa, and Armin. He single-handedly saved them and gave Aaron the opportunity to prove that he's going to help them as a titan. The episode ended with a request of Aaron to turn back into a titan, pick up a boulder, and put it in front of a hole in the gate to stop other titans from coming in. So we're gonna see if he can do that or not today. One more thing! I'm running a little Easter egg hunt here on Thanksgiving. Makes sense, I know. There's gonna be four turkeys edited into today's video. First person to find all five of them and send me a screenshot on Twitter of the turkeys will get a free sample of the Peach Cobbler G Fuel flavor sent out to them. So it's time for some turkey hunting. Good luck. And lastly, I do stream every single day of the week over on twitch.tv slash TV. I'm talking about Attack on Titan or anything else. And without further ado, let's go ahead and watch more Attack on Titan. All right, so here we go with the Paddle of Tross part seven. So Aaron has agreed to turn it into a Titan, take the giant boulder and slip up the hole in the wall with it. Not sure if he's going to be able to control himself when he is a Titan. I don't even know if he's conscious when he's in that state, but everybody has confidence in him. They're believing he can do it. And now a plan is being developed to actually make it happen. Yeah, Pixis sees potential in them. He sees the chance to actually end this war between the Titans with Aaron's abilities. The Titans aren't our only enemy. Wait, is he? Wait a minute. Maybe I'm wrong on this, but I think some enemies are going to be made from the inside with other members of the garrison or the scouts. Even though there is some support from Aaron now, there still are a lot of people who are terrified of Aaron. So I'm calling it now. We're going to have some enemies on the inside as well as, you know, Titans to still worry about. Yeah, and you can see here, everybody else that is doubting it is in complete opposition. Everybody's still so scared to die. They see just way too much stuff. Oh, he's being too loud. The higher-ups are gonna hear them. I'm pretty sure they get executed if they are trying to leave their mission. No, he's gonna die. Is he gonna kill him on the spot right here? Everything's falling apart from the inside out, man. Everyone would rather be executed than go to battle the Titans. <laughs> it was a joke, she said. He's asking her to be loud. Oh, they're trying to start like an uproar or, or a rebellion. So they're trying to take advantage of the chaos and try to make an escape of some sort. Before the Titans gained dominion over the Earth, there's endless slaughter of human life. So does that mean Titans were created to stop the slaughter of person to person? That makes me think Titans are man-made in that case. Aaron's so hopeful that everyone will still unite, though, to be honest. I don't know if anybody's going to want to unite under his titan abilities. Hannes is surprised to see him. Let's go. Kiss him out of nowhere. Give us the biggest plot twist in the world. <laughs> He's like, focus on the mission. So Hannes doesn't know about his transformation yet either. Interesting. He's just thinking he's hanging out with the alcoholic commander. You want some? Is he of age yet? He's like, yeah, sir, I've been through a lot. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Same also. Uh, people are just asking to die. They don't want any part of this. They'd rather just be executed now. He's gonna say something to encourage them, right? I'm listening! So now is the plan on how to retake Tross. They're gonna seal the wall where the gate was destroyed with Aaron's ability, obviously. And everybody's like, how the frick do we do that? Rock is big, we are small. But Aaron will seal it for us! Result of a top secret project to turn humans to titans. See how they react to that. Not good. <laughs> Nobody else has any idea what they're talking about, except for Jean. Jean saw it. Sounds like a simple of enough idea, right? Unless it goes wrong. Unless he actually can't control it. He starts hurting people. There's a lot of risk involved with a plan like this. Everybody else's job in this mission is just protect him from all the other Titans while he's moving the ball. So Titans are typically drawn to pursue the largest number of people they can find. So they're going to use that to their advantage. If they have a ton of people in one spot, all the Titans will migrate that way. It would be like a diversion while Aaron's moving the rock and they can also take some out in the meantime. It's like the best of the best will be there just in case Aaron does get attacked just to protect him as well. This will only really work if Aaron can actually carry that boulder. There's no guarantee he's going to be able to do it. It's a terrible time to be feeling doubt. <laughs> Any negative emotions is a really bad time for it. Titans are still getting into town though. They have to do something. They can't just sit there and continue to let everything. Get ravaged. 
One more thing. There's a limit to how much one can be motivated by Terra. Yeah, everybody's just moved by not wanting to die right now. Not enough people have the drive that Aaron, Mikasa, and Armin have of just trying to protect everyone. They're just trying to protect themselves, and that's the only thing that's keeping them moving at the moment. That's gonna be a very big problem going forward here. Yeah, everybody's in complete doubt of this plan. They're seeing it as just sacrificing themselves. Dude, no way they're leaving. They're gonna be executed for leaving. They're about to die, I think. No way! This many of you are leaving. This is bad. They can't execute this many, actually. He's gonna kill all- Oh, he's gonna kill all of them right now, dude. I shall pardon anyone who deserts now. Really? I did not expect him to actually do that. It might actually end up inspiring more people than we think. So many people are probably gonna take him up on the soccer though and leave. Or maybe he's gonna make them reconsider and wanna stay? Oh, he's thinking about potential of his family dying. Now he's starting to think about someone other than himself. This is actually working in his favor. Reverse psychology. Telling them they can leave is going to make them want to stay. Oh, he's referencing the time when everyone was sent out to battle because there was too many people to feed. And Armin's remembering his grandfather that had to leave. Oh, man. That's going to stick with him. And now they have to deal with what they did, Jessica. Sacrificing so many people. This wall falls. It's it's gonna be so much worse though. So this is just an act to protect everyone. They have to remember that. Everyone they love it will die if they don't do this correctly. Humanity falls is not because Titans did it, it's because we killed each other because of internal conflict. Things on the outside are pushing everybody in and now they're falling apart from the inside so they have to take control of it here. Everybody's gonna be encouraged now, right? You guys are gonna, you don't wanna leave anymore, right? Aaron knows what he has to do. He's not sure if he can lift it. He's got to put some effort in. He must become a symbol. He's got to be the symbol of hope for people. Just like the scouts that were riding through the city in the first episode were his beacon of hope. He wanted to be just like them. He's got to now be that for everybody participating in this war. All right, so this is some more information on the 3D maneuver gear weight shifting device. To maneuver in 3D space, it's necessary to be able to shift one's weight precisely using belts strung all over the body. To allow quick maneuvers in 3D space, the equipment has been made as light as possible. So it looks like they're all strapped up with some blades on their sides and a gas pack on the back to propel them in the air. This is what helps them become Spider-Man. Protect Aaron. That is the only job you have. So I guess these are the most elite that will be directly guarding Aaron while he's moving the, the giant ball to. They themselves are still in so much doubt that this human weapon is actually going to work. They're putting their whole life as well as the lives of everybody in the army on Aaron. They don't even know him. <laughs> I love Pixis as a character, dude. He's so like sarcastic and he has so many like backhanded comments. He wants to win against the Titans. <laughs> like, so do we. we. We want that too. That's us. There's literally no other option than trusting Aaron. That's all they have. I mean, what else are you going to try to do? He's entrusting humanity's fate to them. Let's go. They're motivated. They're going to do it. So Ian's going to be taking the command. He seems really surprised by his like... Me? Nobody's objecting. <laughs> he's well acquainted with drink, both bitter and sweet. So you're trusting him because he's an alcoholic like you? Drunks gotta stick together, man. What can I say? Armin feels bad for making Aaron responsible for everything. I mean, this is what Aaron wants. He wants to be the one to kill. They believe in him. They're just gonna build Armin's confidence more and more. She gets so worried every single time she has to leave him. Yeah, he just can't stand being watched over. She feels so bad because she promised the mom that he would not die under her supervision. Oh, she gets to join the elite forces that are going to protect him now. I kind of want her to stick around too. She's like one of the baddest characters. I want to see her fight more. So here we go. Here's where the plan goes into motion. The diversion's going to start. Aaron's going to turn into a titan. Hopefully he's going to be able to control it. He's got to be exhausted after doing this. There's no guarantee he'll be able to fully control it or have as much power as he's had before. And yeah, and she's checking on him to make sure he feels okay. He's not going to admit to feeling bad though. He's so stubborn. All right. So everybody's going to distract them now. They are getting so close to the Titans. <sighs> People are going to die regardless in this operation. He's got to make it count though. They're dying for him and the cause that he presented. She knows their lives aren't worthless though. All right, here we go. A Titan's approaching. Don't chicken out guys. Can't leave right now. Oh man, distraction time. All right, nobody died there. Good, good, good. She's telling him about everybody she knows 
how important it is to her to make sure that this goes correctly. And they don't die in vain if they do die. It's all gotta mean something, Aaron. I think he's gonna be able to do it, but I think there's gonna be some serious complications in making sure this happens. Since the Titans appeared, humanity has never won against them, so it's the first time for everything, right? It's gonna be the first time humanity has retaken territory from the Titans. Epic build up, dude. Oh, here we go. Alright, is that the signal to get going? Here we go. The snow going back now. Oh, Aaron's swinging. Let's go, dude. This is so cool. The artwork and graphics of this show is so crazy. This is crazy, man. Woo did he do it? Did he transform? I think he did it. Is he fully tight now? I'm really worried he wasn't strong enough. Oh, that doesn't feel good. I'm worried he didn't have enough power or strength to make the transformation happen. Oh, maybe not. Did we do it? Yes! Let's go! Woo! But is he conscious? Can he control this? Here he goes. Pick up the boulder. Oh no. I knew this! Why? I knew it! I knew he wasn't conscious and he couldn't control it. Oh, this just ruined everything, man. You, you had to go and do that. He was gonna turn into a titan and pick up the boulder and put it in front of the hole and then get a W. But no. L's. After L. So that's really how we're gonna end it, huh? Aaron can't control his ability yet. He's now turned into a titan and striked at Mikasa. Seems like this is gonna be very problematic, obviously, because when he comes back to human form, everybody will be in complete disbelief that he can have any sort of positive impact on this war. So there we go. Another episode of Attack on Titan ending our minds once again. <laughs> we'll continue with episode 12 tomorrow. We're gonna see if Mikasa survived that blow, if Aaron's actually gonna be able to control himself as a titan. A lot of things to be answered, but we'll find out about it tomorrow. Again, happy Thanksgiving to all you guys out there. Hopefully you're staying safe and enjoying some time with family. Thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy. And if you did and don't mind doing so, make sure you go ahead and drop a sub like. That's a subscribe, a like, and a comment. And I will see you in the next reaction video.